Cal is hosting San Diego State. The Cal, of course, beat Auburn last week. Cal is an 18.5-point home favorite, total of 47.5, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, God's Time Zone on ESPN. And the stats model has Cal favored by 3.34. Now, how that is possible, considering San Diego State did not score on Oregon State last week, I don't know. Cal is number three in ESPN strength of record. I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. I don't think that going and winning at Auburn is that big of a deal unless you are an SEC team because it is quite apparent that Hugh Freeze does not give a damn about anything other than games against Georgia or Alabama or Ole Miss or some of these other SEC teams. And, and he may not even give a damn right now. He may just be collecting a check. Stephen Godfrey had it right when he said that uh, it is the damnedest thing that Hugh Freeze could be in trouble because he didn't go pay a player. I mean, that's some of the weirdest stuff you've ever seen in your life. But I, I will say this. It was not just Peyton Thorne. It was not that they needed another quarterback. It was that Cal's defensive line whipped their offensive line. They got all these four stars and all these blue chippers. None of them showed up. None of them did what they were supposed to do. It's just just so so insane. Um, I don't know. Drew said uh, Wyoming had covered at home 13 or 14 in a row before they dropped that one to Idaho. Yeah. um, I mean, the changeover in coaching staffs has been much more drastic than I thought it would be. I, I will say that. So anyway, I've been talking about Wyoming and Auburn and all this, and now let's talk about Cal and San Diego State. Stats plus power rating, I've got Cal favored by about 11. I think this number is a little too high. If you just look at power rating alone, then you've got Cal favored by 14-ish roundabout. I don't know that I would add any kind of home field advantage for this team. Uh, but you're coming all the way back from Auburn. San Diego State got to play at home last week. Now they just short flight up to Berkeley. No big deal. 18 and a half is kind of nuts. Total of 47 and a half on this. Um, it's kind of a low total with a pretty high point spread. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Sean Lewis. I know that they bit me last week, but... You know, the implied score here is 33 and a half to 16. Like, Cal, if I'm not mistaken, is headed back across the country again next week. Yeah, they play at Florida State next week. Go to Auburn, fly all the way back to Berkeley, go all the way out to Tallahassee. After that, they get a bye week, but then they host Miami. And then after Miami, they got to go to Pitt on the other side. (laughs) This thing's going to get nuts quickly. Uh, I think I think San Diego State can stay in this thing. Marquez Cooper, the uh, the running back, didn't do a big time job last week, but I think Oregon State's defensive line is actually better against the run than Cal's. Um, Cal's defense is number one hundred two. Like it, it wasn't, it wasn't that Cal was necessarily stopping Auburn per se, um, but I mean they're number one in turnover margin because of that. Because Peyton throwing threw him the football four times, they were able to get after the quarterback. I, I think. The pace that Sean Lewis's offense plays with, they'll be able to get the ball out quicker. They'll be able to run uh, a little bit faster, some more misdirection kind of stuff. I think he'll be able to take advantage of how aggressive Cal's defensive line is. Uh, they got to cut down on the penalties, by God, because San Diego State, number 133 in the country. Uh, but Cal is number 103, so it's not like they're uh, a whole lot better. Um, San Diego State does not turn the ball over, neither does Cal. Yeah. Yeah, this, this number got too high. Give me Cal, uh, sorry, give me San Diego State plus the 18 and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.